This is my $10,000 gaming slash streaming setup. What's going on everybody? My name is Mason or Slush and welcome back to another video. By far the most asked question throughout all of my different platforms is how did I afford this setup? A lot of you know that I'm only 16 years old and something that not a lot of you know is that I paid for all of this setup 100% by myself. My parents never really did an allowance and although I've been blessed with a nice house and a big room to put my setup in, they have always believed that if I wanted something, I needed to work for it. And that is exactly what I did with this passion. In this video, I'm gonna be telling you guys exactly how I did that and how you can can also do this. Partly because I'm sick of everybody making assumptions about me and partly to help the up and coming streamers and content creators out there that want to follow in this path. Now the idea for this video came from one of my friends, Casp. He also does streaming and content creation. So if you want to check out his video or his Twitch channel, they will be linked in the description below. <clears throat> Right next to mine, of course. But with all that boring stuff out of the way, let's get into the video. For me, my money making started when I was 12 years old and I got my first job. Not many people know this, but you can actually referee sports games as young as 12 years old. If you think about it logically, it does make sense because these four, five, six year olds are playing sports games and they hire young referees to take care of that. Depending on the league that you sign up for and the sport that you sign up for, the pay will be different. But for me, I refereed soccer games and I was getting paid $12 a game. The games were around 40 minutes, but they were scheduled in blocks every hour. So I had a little bit of a break between games. So yeah, basically $12 an hour. I only got four or five games a week and usually only on the weekends. So my total pay for the week ended up being around 50 to $60. Obviously 50 to 60 bucks a week isn't enough to live off of, but when I was young and I was 12 years old, that was a lot of money to me. Now you can only referee when your sport is in season. It's not played all throughout the year. So for me and my soccer league, there was two seasons a year. So my first year at 12 years old, I made $1,200. Now the next year when I was 13, I did the same thing all year, but I got promoted to a higher age group, meaning I got paid more. I made around $15 a game and worked the same amount of games. So for my second year, when I was 13 years old, I made around $1,500. Then when I was 14 years old, I took my biggest jump yet because I got promoted to the leagues where tournaments would happen. This was also the same league where there would be three referees per field because the games got to be more competitive. If you don't know how soccer refereeing works, there's one referee in the center that does most of the work and he gets paid the most while the two linesmen on the side are just there to kind of support him and they get paid less. In my league, you could opt in or out to be a head ref and most kids my age just wanted to be linesmen so they could stand there and basically do nothing and get paid. But for me, I jumped on every opportunity to be head ref so that I could make more money. My third year working, I made $2,500. I was one of those kids that never bought anything growing up. I kind of just saved all of my money. So all of this was still sitting in a bank. Now at 15 years old, this was when I started looking for more sources of income because refing wasn't really enough for me. And I knew I would want to buy something big coming up. At the time I was super into sneakers and fashion. So I started customizing shoes. I'd always been pretty good at art and because I was into like some trending things throughout fashion, I was able to customize shoes pretty well if I do say so myself. I did this for a few months for people around my school and around my neighborhood area and made around $500. At this point, I was still refing at the same time and steadily getting promoted up through leagues. This started happening multiple times a year instead of just once every year. So I was starting to rack up money pretty quickly. But then something happened that stopped all of my income, COVID-19. When COVID-19 hit, I thought I wouldn't be able to make any more money. All of my sources of income required me to be in person participating and I couldn't do that anymore. My soccer league was shut down so I couldn't referee. There was obviously no one going to school so no one really cared about having cool shoes for me to customize. And I was back to square zero and had no income. But then I had an idea. With all the leagues for soccer shut down, I knew a lot of kids that weren't able to play soccer. When you're a kid, being outside and having physical activity is super important, especially for the parents. And I knew that there was a lot of kids stuck inside with nothing to do and a lot of parents that wanted desperately to get their kids out of the house. So I made some posts on Nextdoor, which if you don't know, is sort of like Facebook, but only for your neighborhood. So it's basically for parents to communicate with each other. And I made a post asking if anybody would be interested in me hosting some coaching sessions. I had played soccer my whole life, going from FC Dallas club and academy teams to my middle school team to my high school team. So I kind of used that as a qualification and just asked if anybody wanted me to coach their kids. I wasn't taking this super seriously, like I was a private trainer or something, but I just figured I could host some practices for a couple kids to get together and have some fun. I set my price at $10 an hour per kid and to my surprise, a ton of parents were interested. I found a middle school near me that had fields open all the time because no one was in school and I wanted to do it outside so that COVID wouldn't be a big risk. In about a four month period with the end of school, which was virtual, and then all throughout summer, I worked five days a week for several hours a day. In total that year with refing and custom shoes in the beginning of the year and then coaching at the end, I made $5,000. At this point, I was still just playing games on an Xbox and my TV, but I knew I had a passion for video games and I wanted to make something out of it. So I decided to buy my first gaming setup. 
This was nothing too crazy, but I did dump a little bit of money into it, probably around $1,500. This was a super big turning point for me. I knew I wanted to do video games as my job, and my original thought was to go competitive. At the time, Fortnite was still really big, so I gave that a shot for a few months and made nothing out of it. But right before I turned 16, I made my first ever TikTok. I remember waking up the day after I posted that TikTok and my video had like 300 views and I was super excited about that. I posted videos for the next few weeks and grew to around 100 followers. At this point, I decided that I wanted to pursue this and try to do it in my free time, so I also made a Twitch account to start streaming. Right around this time, school started back up and I turned 16. Now my school gave out a choice of doing in-person or virtual and I did virtual. At first, I was really upset about this because I wanted to go back to school, but I decided to take advantage of this and create a ton of content and stream. In the first two months, I grew a lot and made about $100. Obviously, that's not a ton of money, especially considered to what I had made the year before, but at the time for streaming and making TikToks, that seemed pretty good to me. Right around when I reached 20,000 followers on TikTok, I got my first business message. A company wanted to pay me to feature their LED strips on my TikTok page. At this point, my only real income was coming for Twitch and I hadn't thought of TikTok as a way to make money, so this was a really big surprise to me. But this was sort of a wake up call to me because it showed me that I had some potential to really make money in this industry and I started to take it a lot more seriously. Over the next two months, I really grinded TikTok and really grinded Twitch and started making some real money. At this point, it's around four months after I turned 16 and around four months after I started making TikToks and creating content. I was at around 100,000 followers on TikTok and around 10,000 followers on Twitch, which was pretty crazy progress. But then came another huge turning point for me because I had my first ever viral TikTok. It was a day in the life of a small streamer that basically just walked through my routine every day in online school throughout streaming and content creation. And the day after I posted that, I woke up and checked my phone and it had over two 2 million views. Within the first week, it got over 5 million views, and that video alone carried me to around 250,000 followers on TikTok and around 20,000 followers on Twitch. Over the next six months or so, I continued to make content and stream and started treating it like a job instead of just a hobby. I decided to also start up YouTube, and that turned out to be another one of the best decisions I had made because now my YouTube's starting to take off. Now, besides just growing my subscriber count on YouTube, it also opened up two new sources of income for me. These sources are ad revenue and sponsored videos. Now, all of you know what ad revenue is. It just comes from people watching my videos, which means the more views I get on a video, the more I end up getting paid. But sponsored videos are also pretty cool. Basically, brands will pay me to talk about their products in my videos, like the sponsor of today's video, Wondershare Filmora. Now, the people that have followed me for a long time know that I would never promote a product that I don't genuinely stand behind. And that holds true for this editing software, because this is actually the software that I used for the first four or five Five months of my content creation journey. Let me tell you about it. So first things first, to download this software, go to the link in my description and it'll put you on this website. All you have to do then is just press free download. Then open up software and start a new project. Now I'm gonna be making the thumbnail of this video that you're watching right now, so let me show you guys that process. So I have two images. The first one is of my setup as a background, and the next one is just a picture of me that I wanna add. Now this is where Filmora has some really cool effects that make this process a lot simpler. So I'm gonna to go to the effects tab and then to the AI portrait section. Here I'm gonna grab this human segmentation effect and just put it on top of my clip. And as you can see, it has now cut me out from the image. Now all I have to do is resize it to where I fit nicely in the middle of these, and we're looking pretty good. But as you can see, I'm kind of blending into the background and there's no real separation, so I'm gonna add another one of these effects. Effects. Now, as you can see, I'm going to grab the human border and drag it onto the clip. And now that's looking pretty good. But there's two more things I want to do. First, I'm going to change the color of this border. I think I'm going to go with the cyan to kind of fit the background, but at the same time, still separate me. Now, I think that looks a lot better. For the last step, we're going to add some text. So I'm going to head over to the title section and then the default and just drag on some text. Now I'm going to change the font to something that looks a lot better and put it in a different area to make it kind of fit into the background more. And now we have a pretty good thumbnail. Right now, there's actually a pretty good discount going on for any students. It's called the Wondershare Back to School Campaign, and you could get up to a 38% discount on the premium version of this software. And if you don't want to pay, you can always just use the free version. So if you want to make your own videos or thumbnails with Wondershare Filmora, you can find the download link in the description of this video. Comment below on why you like using Filmora for a chance to have your comment pinned. And now back to the video. Now at this point, I had been growing all of my platforms, and another really cool aspect of this was that companies would send me products for free. This was mainly on the TikTok side of things, never really happened on Twitch, but companies would say, hey, we'll send you this super cool tech product and you have to make a TikTok on it. Now, this wasn't necessarily a source of income for me since I wasn't getting paid, but it did get me a lot of this setup for free. For example, I got my desk, my monitor, my keyboard, my mouse pad, a lot of other things for completely free. And now just over a year after I started streaming and creating content, my setup has grown to this point. Streaming and content creation is now my main job and it's because of all of you guys that continue to support me and watch my videos that I'm in this position. Most of this setup was earned in the past eight months or so, but the original journey of 
of me starting to make money starts way back when I was 12. And now I am super proud to sit in this position and say that every single dollar of this setup was earned by me, whether through having it sent for free from a company or buying it myself with money that I earned from this. Thanks to all of you out there that have supported me and continue to support me, I'm able to have this $10,000 setup and sit here in front of a camera sharing my story. My life and my sources of income have obviously changed drastically over the past four years, but one thing has always been consistent. I have found a way to monetize my passions. If there's one thing that you take away from this video, I want you to take that. Monetizing your passions is something that anybody can do if you have the creativity and drive for it. Anybody can settle for going and getting a minimum wage job that they hate and complain about, but I would rather do things that I love. I love soccer, so I refereed and then coached kids. I loved fashion and shoes, so I started customizing them. I loved video games, and so I started playing that. When that didn't work out, I found a passion for streaming and creating content. Throughout my life, I have only been doing jobs that I love to do, and all of you out there can do the exact same thing. If you did enjoy this video or take anything useful out of it, be sure to like and subscribe because it helps me to continue doing this as my job. If you have questions about anything I mentioned in this video, feel free to drop a comment and I will try to get back to every single one of them. If you're interested in catching me live and watching me play some games and interacting with me in my chat, I stream all the time over at Twitch and I'd really appreciate if you check that out. There will be a link in the description of this video to my Twitch as well as all my other socials. Thank you guys again for the continued support. It really does mean the world to me that you guys enable me to do this as my main source of income. It's still crazy to think about and I really do appreciate each and every single one of you. That being said, I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.